Hi everyone, this is Tech Table and this is Highway Divisional Solutions. My name is Rachel. And, and my name is Babs. Yes, Babs. Yes. Today we're talking about the drone technology in Kenya. And so we had to bring in our specialist uh, in, in Kenya in drone technology. So take us through about how to, to go about it. Okay, first mm -hmm. uh, of all, these are drone. Yes. Um, <coughs> it is an aircraft actually. Yeah. But not these uh, big aircraft that uh, that uh, carries people. Yes. Really. These are small aircraft yeah. that mm. are that are uh, is used for aerial photography and mm -hmm. videography. Mm -hmm. um, this is called DJI Phantom 4. It is a, a, from a company uh, known as DJI. DJI. Yeah. yeah it mm -hmm. is a company that makes uh, very nice drones. Mm -hmm. So in drones, there are different series of drones. Yes. It started uh, from Phantom 1, 2, 3, and, now and, we are at and 4. And all those Phantoms are DJI? Or yeah, Oliver. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the mm. company is DJI, but different names okay. uh, according to the version of the uh, product. Mm -hmm. So D this is DJI Phantom 4. Mm -hmm. the, previ the previous one was uh, DJI Phantom 3. Mm -hmm. So just maybe to take you through mm -hmm. what all these lines yeah, yeah, please. means yeah. so uh, here we have the RC the remote control mm. the remote controller of the drone of the drone, yeah. of the drone. Mm -hmm. then uh, here we have the aircraft itself yes then here we have mm -hmm. no now uh, let me put this here <laughs> because they w they do they the same do the thing, same thing huh? <laughs> this is our ipad for yeah. flying the drone and oh. we can use as well as uh, the uh, smartphone mm -hmm. not any smartphone but a smartphone that at least has a uh, two and above gbs of ram oh, at okay. least okay. two and above gbs of ram without mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. your phone will hang Okay. And you will not be seeing what you're shooting. Oh, all right. So is it a control that 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 uh, you download and? You yeah, it is an application. Applica you yeah, download yeah. an ap application mm -hmm. from this company. It mm -hmm. is called DJI Go App. Okay. Yeah. So you have to download the the app first, mm -hmm. install, mm -hmm. then register. You, you must have an account with all them right, right. before flying. Mm -hmm. So going on, these these are the propellers. Okay. Let me just open them. <coughs> These are the propellers for the aircraft itself, mm -hmm. and uh, it has uh, yeah. different colors. Okay. As you can see, it has uh, different colors. It has black and uh, silver. Oh, that is the ring. Around. Yeah, the ring. Okay. This ring here, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is black, mm -hmm. and this is uh, silver. Mm -hmm. And both of them, you have to uh, put the, the color at the exact place where, where there's that color. Any reason why? Any reason why? Because you know these propellers, uh, they are propellers that are rotating clockwise mm. and anti-clockwise, yes. and you cannot mess putting the clockwise in the anti. anti so this clockwise. is again <laughs> about the direction of. Yeah, the, the direction of the. Um, yeah. Okay. So we have uh, four propellers. Mm -hmm. So we have to take two, mm -hmm. same colors and two another color. Oh, so so we have they are two gray, two silver, two black. Two black. Okay. So this is another black and. Mm. Uh, Another silver, yeah, this is another silver. Yeah, okay. So we have uh, four of them. Mm -hmm. So this is the charger. Mm -hmm. This one charger charges the battery. This is the battery for the drone. The drone, yeah. Yeah, this is the battery for the drone. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's fully charged now. Oh, when okay. all these are mm -hmm. on, it, it means it's, uh, it is fully charged. Eh? Okay, one quick question. Okay. How long does it last? This battery lasts for at least 25 or less. Minutes, okay. but when you buy mm -hmm. or when you see in the description, they tell you it can go up to thirty minutes. But, oh, okay. uh, but on the ground, it's but on the ground, it is twenty-five or less than or less. twenty-five minutes. Uh -huh. So uh, let's get started. I think I've uh, gone through everything. Yes. So first thing, the first thing you do uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the drone yes. is to unlock the camera. Wait, first of all, where's the camera? <laughs> this is the camera. That's the camera. This is the camera. Wow, it's, this is it's the really camera. tiny. Yeah. And what's uh, probably the resolution of the camera? As in being that size? Uh, being this small size, yes. this camera does from HD uh -huh. 720 to, 1080. Uh, to 1080 uh -huh. HD. Mm -hmm. It does full HD. Mm -hmm. It is actually 720 to... 
um, 1080 less than 1080 mm -hmm. but that is HD mm -hmm. then it does full HD mm -hmm. 1920 by 1080, 1080. Mm -hmm. it does ultra HD formats mm -hmm. from 2.7k mm -hmm. to ultra HD 3840 by 2160 that is wow. uh, um, almost mm -hmm. 4k mm -hmm. almost full 4k mm -hmm. almost full 4k because full 4k it does up to full 4k of 4096 mm -hmm. by 2160 mm -hmm. that is 4000 like uh, this tv mm -hmm. it does 4000 pictures mm -hmm. 4096 pictures mm -hmm. times 2160 pictures in one second that is so that is so full 4k comparing with the size of that camera you yeah. think that Wow. Yeah, it has a very high resolution right. yeah, for the camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. So first thing you have to unlock, you just do like that, okay. then pull it, then you have uh, unlocked. Your camera. The so second it, thing, it okay. Looks, it looks more of a gimbal. Yeah, this is a gimbal. This, mm -hmm. all, the, all of this is a gimbal. Ah, okay. Yeah, so once you turn it on, it's able to stabilize itself. Yes. And then it will only stabilize itself when you put the battery and put it on. Okay. So these are three axis gimbal. Okay. So once you've done that, and mm -hmm. you'll see the reason why you have to unlock before mm -hmm. putting the battery and putting on the drone. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the battery. Yeah. So uh, this is how you enter the battery. Okay. Just like that, and then squeeze it back, then push it, mm -hmm. it will lock itself. All oh, right. Yes. It, it would so, show the, the so, viewer. So uh, this is the battery. Mm -hmm. uh, removing it, you just press and press it pull and back. Pull it. Ah, yeah. Okay. So putting it back, you just do like that and then press it. It will mm. lock itself. Okay. So putting on the drone, mm -hmm. now see the reason why you have to unlock. You have to remove this locker. Mm -hmm. Putting on is tap and hold or press and hold. Okay. It is not like one press. Mm -hmm. it will also not you'll have to hold it. You mm -hmm. press you once hold. and hold. Okay. Then you will see here, mm -hmm. look at the, oh. now you know why you have to unlock this, yes, to allow it to stabilize itself. Okay. Because okay. if you don't do this, you are, mm -hmm. you are going to destroy the gimbal. Ah. Because it will start, it yes, will yes, try yes. like uh, yes. stabilizing itself, but yes. it will not. Okay, and what are the <laughs> lights? I'm seeing red lights. Um, These are just lights, uh, just to decorate the drone. I don't think they have. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I, yeah. It's actually red. So I'm yeah, danger it is something. just like uh, <laughs> like the actual aircraft. It okay. has lights, mm -hmm. red and green uh, uh, at the back. Okay. So mm -hmm. our drone is on. Yes. We have to set up the remote. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the remote we have to set up first from these antennas. Uh -huh. They have to look in front because the wa the waves are coming from there to this uh, place. Exactly. So, um, one quick question, I'm seeing antennas, and when you see an antenna, you know there's a transmitter somewhere, so transmission is happening where in this? So, this is just transmitting from this RC oh, to this. To this. This so is just communicating, the other way yeah, okay. it is just communicating mm -hmm. with uh, the aircraft. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, for this case, let's use the iPad. Okay, let's use uh, this iPad. Mm -hmm. So this thing, uh, for the RC, mm -hmm. you have two options, or even three or four more. Mm -hmm. Option one, mm -hmm. I want maybe to use a smartphone. Yes. It is small, mm -hmm. so what I will do, mm -hmm. there are these things, I just uh, do like this. Then, no, I have to do like, just press uh, here, so that is open it more, the... open ah, more, okay. and then I'll just do like that, and then, like that and that's it uh -huh. that is for the i uh, the, uh, for the, the, phone, smartphone. the smartphone yeah. but if let me say for this case we want to use the ipad i'll just uh use the ipad now for the ipad you have to uh, push that up to the end then you have to fold this back wow. like that you know i was actually <coughs> asking myself oh why did you come with this i thought you have you you have in, in your, so no, no, no. we have another one for the iPad. Okay. No, so uh, here we just have to put our iPad, mm -hmm. like so, wow. like so, like it was designed yes, already yes, to fit yes, yes. there. Mm -hmm. So we have our cable, a okay. USB cable. All right. This uh, gives you an output of USB, a USB video out. Okay. Yeah. USB. So, so um, 
is it only USB? What if I want a HDMI or mm, SDI? For HDMI, or you can do USB or HDMI, but okay. uh, these guys are very brave. Uh -huh. The, the, when they sell this thing to you, they sell it with a USB output. Okay. But let's say you want to do a live somewhere, exactly. somewhere mm. someone wants to see a live, what, what you're doing outside, yes. maybe like from a TV yes. or something, Push or HDMI or uh, input. Mm. So there's this thing, they, they call it a HDMI module. Okay. So you have to buy that HDM, H, HDMI mm -hmm. module, mm. you remove this, mm -hmm. you just unscrew this, mm. remove and put that, it has a HDMI uh, output here, a mini HDMI, so and you also. have to have a, a cable mini to normal HDMI cable. Oh, yeah. so it's not the normal uh, No, it's HDMI. not the normal uh, mm -hmm. HDMI. Mm -hmm. It is mini to normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for this so case... And, and that one you're buying it from DJI? Or yes, or? yes. Oh. From DJI. Okay. Only from DJI. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, in this case, mm -hmm. uh, we are using USB, not HDMI. Mm -hmm. That is a USB port. Yes. And it has two USB ports. Okay. There's a normal USB and there's micro USB. USB yeah. This is for the video, uh, this is for the video output, mm -hmm. and this is for upgrading the firmware, the firmware of uh, the of uh, the RC, the remote controller. Mm -hmm. So once you do that, mm -hmm. let's just connect um, our USB. And how do you charge that? This one, mm -hmm. you charge it with this. This is one charger, but it does charge two uh, things. It charges the battery. Mm -hmm. Charges the battery here. All right. Just put uh, there. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. In this case, the battery is, is it's full. full. Mm -hmm. Then it has another uh, port here. Mm. This one, this mm. is for the remote. And the remote, it is uh, here, right here. Okay. Just okay. do like that. You okay. open that, mm -hmm. and then uh, you insert the charger. Okay. So then in no way you can ever use your USB to. You probably charge it or no, no. the USB hmm. can charge this. Oh, it's only charging so this is like a power bank or something. Hmm. So you can charge your phone uh, no. using this. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me put this away. Let me help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are set. Yes, we are. We are set, and uh, let's put on the propellers. Mm -hmm. As I said, uh, you need black. Yes. Let's just put off the drone, uh, the first. aircraft first. Mm -hmm. You have black. Yes. Look where black is. In this case, this is black. Oh, three okay. dots so these here. are guiding you. Yeah. Okay. So this thing, uh, for Phantom 3, the previous drone mm -hmm. used to put it and uh, lock, like lock, lock, mm -hmm. lock, lock, lock. Mm -hmm. But for this one, mm -hmm. it is an advanced one. Mm -hmm. You just push it down uh, and uh, squeeze like that. That's nice. Just put it down and squeeze. Mm -hmm. This is anti-clockwise. Mm. For the silver, mm -hmm. silver here, yes. you look where the silver is. Mm. Definitely it's this one. Yes. So you just push it and squeeze yeah. clockwise. This, clockwise. Is, this was anti-clockwise, anti this is clockwise. Oh, nice. So we have another black. Mm -hmm. We go to black. Mm -hmm. Put it and squeeze it anti-clockwise again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one, the silver one, put it and clockwise. Yeah, nice. You're done. Yeah. The, look it looks now more of, a, <laughs> of an aircraft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's have some space here. Yeah. So that is our setup. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is our setup. Yeah. So now time to go on. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let me just put the password. Mm -hmm. We're good there. Mm. And first things first, you have to download the software. Yes. It means, uh, there is a must you have to download a software called from their company yes it's called dji go go so for this one okay. we are using dji uh, phantom 4 mm -hmm. the, its software is called dji go 4 go 4 yeah oh, okay. that will work from dji these from these four mm -hmm. there are other latest drones mm -hmm. so one software for like uh, three versions of drones mm -hmm. and there's another software for phantom 3 that is called DJI Go Crate. Oh, okay. That is for Phantom 3 mm -hmm. and uh, Phantom 2 and whatever. Okay. So uh, once, like uh, in our case, we have that, uh, uh, you can see here, it is DJI yeah, Go. Go. Yeah. 
that is for Phantom 3. Mm -hmm. Now the latest one is called DJI, DJI Go 4. 4. Okay. For Phantoms from 4, mm -hmm. there's Phantom 4, mm -hmm. there's Phantom 4 Pro, mm -hmm. there's Phantom 4 Advance, mm -hmm. and there's Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, first things first, let's put on, press and hold. And hold. Okay. Also, oh, you're pouring it from the battery. Yes, the battery from the from the battery. That okay. is our own. Huh? Okay. Press and hold. Mm -hmm. Same thing you did there. You mm -hmm. do it here. And press press it. and hold. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we are on. Then uh, we wait uh, and uh, we wait for for the feed. Mm -hmm. Uh, or if you can't wait mm -hmm. because it will take time to detect like uh, uh, yeah, do its yeah, things yeah. so what you do you have how to long how long would it how it won't take long like uh, let's say um, less than a minute let's say oh. 45 seconds okay. but uh, we don't have that time 45 mm -hmm. seconds mm -hmm. so once you press that automatically mm -hmm. you can see automatically you can see we can see the feed oh yeah we already have it yeah Yay. so we already have uh -huh. the feed. You can see yourself there. Ah, uh, right? yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, let me ask. Okay. That is where you also do your settings. Yeah, every setting is here. Mm -hmm. Every setting is in here. Mm -hmm. So, for, ex for example, before shooting, before doing anything, mm -hmm. what you have to confirm first is mm -hmm. the SD card because you're going to store some footage or some yeah, photos. Yeah, interesting. So, you're able to record. Yes, you're able to record, but from uh, the aircraft because you insert here the SD card. Let me see. The SD card is here. Oh, you can nice. See. Uh -huh. You just press it uh -huh. like that. You uh -huh. press it. This is our SD card. Uh -huh. You can see. Uh -huh. Then you, uh, let's just put it back. Uh oh. Sorry, it bounced. All right. <laughs> it bounced. Don't worry about yeah. that. Happens. Yeah, that happens a lot. Uh -huh. So we just put it back like uh, so. Press it. That is our SD card. Yes. And uh, this is a micro USB mm -hmm. port. Mm. For this one, you need to upgrade the firmware. Mm -hmm. Anytime you upgrade this firmware, mm. you must upgrade the, the, the firmware the, 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 of the, of the, of the aircraft. Okay. So we've confirmed we have our SD card in there. Mm -hmm. Now here, first thing, we have to format the SD. Okay. Formatting the SD, mm -hmm. you come here, mm -hmm. this is the settings. Mm -hmm. Then you come here at this settings mm. there, then go down, down. Mm -hmm. uh, the second last uh, option, yes, format, format SD, SD card. card. Mm -hmm. Let's press. Then it will ask you, format SD card. <laughs> if you <laughs> have nothing sure. <laughs> important there, just say yes, format the SD card. Yes. Then SD it's card formatted. formatted. Thank mm -hmm. you. Now you need to set up your drone depending yes. on what you're shooting. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're shooting a film, mm -hmm. you, go to, you need to go to flat profiles mm -hmm. and uh, frame rates, wherever you want to shoot. Mm -hmm. So for this case, uh, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, uh, you come here at this uh, icon okay. and set mm -hmm. your video format mm -hmm. and the frame rate you want to use. Mm -hmm. So you just press there. Yeah. At this uh, case, it is at 3840 by 2160. Yeah. That is 4K, yeah. but not full 4K. Mm -hmm. for, for this option, mm -hmm. let's start with the highest. The highest is, is 4096 full. frames yeah, times 2160 mm -hmm. frames mm -hmm. on the height of the screen. Mm -hmm. So for this uh, option, mm -hmm. you can uh, uh, only use 24 frames per second mm -hmm. or 25 frames per second. This is the highest quality. It's very heavy. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, you can choose this or choose that, mm -hmm. depending on, on the format you are using. Yeah. Then we have Ultra HD of 3840 by 2160. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. You can choose either to shoot that format at 24 frames per second or, or at 25 frames per second, depending on what you're shooting. Mm -hmm. If you're shooting video, normal videos is mm -hmm. 25. If mm -hmm. you're shooting film, mm -hmm. you go for film standard, which is uh, 24 or 23.9 mm -hmm. yeah. frames per second. After there, we go to the uh, 2.7K. Yeah. 2.7K, it is after HD. Yeah. And 2.7K is 2,704 mm -hmm. frames on your length by mm -hmm. 
1,520 uh, frames on your height of mm -hmm. the screen. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> so there still you can use 24 frames or 25 frames per second. Mm -hmm. Then we come to uh, full HD. Mm -hmm. Full HD is 1080p, mm -hmm. 25 uh, mm -hmm. uh, frames. Mm -hmm. Here you have uh, three options. Yeah. You can use uh, 1920 by 1080 mm -hmm. at 24 frames per second mm -hmm. or 25 frames per, frames per second or 48, 48 frames per second, depending on uh, what you're shooting. Mm -hmm. If um, I want to do a slow-mo in mm -hmm. post, mm -hmm. I love to use more frames. Mm -hmm. So I love to use uh, 48 frames per second. Mm -hmm. That will give me a good slow motion because uh, in slow motion the video is stretching. Mm -hmm. So when I have a lot of frames, mm -hmm. no matter how it stretches, mm -hmm. I still have good quality oh, okay. rather than using okay. uh, less frames per mm -hmm. second. Mm -hmm. So and then we have HD, normal mm -hmm. HD. Mm -hmm. In normal HD that is uh, uh, 720. Mm -hmm. In 720 you have a very good number of uh, frames. Mm -hmm. You'll shoot at 50 frames. That is a lot of frames. Yeah. 50 frames per one second, you're yes. shooting uh, 50 pictures in one in second. One second yeah. yeah. So once you've set, let's say we want to do a uh, full HD mm -hmm. 1920 mm -hmm. by 1080 mm -hmm. at 25 frame frames. Per second. Now uh, we are done with our setup of yeah. the video. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else we need to set? Mm -hmm. um, nothing else there we need to mm -hmm. set. So everything is here. We have yeah, our right. ISO. Uh, we have our ISO is uh, the l amount of light uh, that is entering mm -hmm. uh, the, the camera the through camera. the lens. And that's on auto. That can is you, on can auto. You, do it manually? you can do on manual, mm -hmm. but remember this is a drone. Yes. This is a drone, and when you're operating a uh, drone, you're looking at the drone and you're looking and you're controlling. Yeah. You don't have other fingers mm -hmm. for controlling other temperatures and mm -hmm. other things mm -hmm. in the drone. Okay. So it is recommended uh, to do, do auto, everything automatic. Mm -hmm. It will give you a very good picture mm -hmm. in automatic. Okay. So, uh, but mm -hmm. at the same time, mm -hmm. you can use, like, you see when I tap at the white, mm -hmm. when I tap, okay. it will. Uh, uh, the, the brightness will go down mm -hmm. when I tap at the, uh, the darker color, mm. it means that place is dark, I need light. Okay. When okay. I tap at the white, it means it is too bright, I need to oh. take it back. You just tap, tap. Then when, uh, when you tap, you see the, when you tap like this, mm -hmm. the ISO will increase. It is 1600 ISO, 3200 yeah. mm -hmm. ISO. Mm -hmm. That is the maximum, by mm -hmm. the way. Okay. 3200 ISO is mm -hmm. the maximum. Mm -hmm. So here, that is the minimum. The minimum is 100. Mm. So our shutter mm. has opened up to 25. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have an automatic white balance. Mm -hmm. We have here settings, our right. settings. Yeah. OK. So uh, we have other settings, actually, to do. Mm -hmm. This uh, drone, Phantom mm -hmm. 4, it has something called obstacle avoidance. Okay. The obstacle avoidance, what it does, like you see, this is the front of the, this is the front mm -hmm. of the drone. Mm -hmm. And you can see some, these two small eyes. Yeah. There's this one, and there's this one. Okay. These are sensors. Oh, nice. These mm -hmm. are sensors. Mm -hmm. When you go front, mm -hmm. they will sense uh, maybe a there's feet an or, or two feet. Okay. Yes. It will sense there's an object. Then it will not move. It will stop. Oh, so there is no chance of hitting. Yeah, you cannot do an accident, <laughs> actually. Oh, that's, yeah. that's So I mean. it will not move because of these uh, sensors. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. let's say you're flying indoors or you're flying maybe in the trees mm -hmm. and you want to fly mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually you can do that only if you know how to fly a drone. Okay. Yeah, when you Th want to fly Let's say in indoors, such... Yeah. Uh, like here, mm -hmm. when you put this drone on here, mm -hmm. it will not go anywhere mm -hmm. because there's a lot of... Uh, obstacles here. So, okay, so once you pow you've powered it on, mm -hmm. it's supposed to immediately... So, okay. if, uh, let's say for now we've powered it on, uh, mm -hmm. and we want to fly inside here, mm -hmm. what I will do, I will go here, mm -hmm. to the settings, mm -hmm. then I will come to this uh, Wi-Fi thing uh, yeah. here. Mm -hmm. You can see here it is telling you enable obstacle, obstacle avoidance. avoidance. It okay. is enable. Mm -hmm. That means for here, for now, mm -hmm. it cannot fly anywhere. Mm -hmm. But if I want to fly here, mm -hmm. I have to disable that uh, 
obstacle avoidance. Mm -hmm. So I'll just come here. Mm -hmm. It is not recommended. Okay. But it is recommended only for people who know how to fly well mm -hmm. indoors mm -hmm. and outdoor where there are trees and houses mm -hmm. and people. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you just tap there, mm -hmm. then it will ask you if you, you really want to do that. Yeah. Then you will say, yes, mm -hmm. I really want to do that. Yeah, then we have the expert here, so yeah. <laughs> we're I really taking the chance. <laughs> so after that, you just uh, go back, you just tap to the screen, mm -hmm. and you're done. You go back. Mm -hmm. Now, time to fly the drone. Yeah. Before flying the drone, you need to look at the screen and uh, make sure the drone is ready. Mm -hmm. As you see here, mm -hmm. It is telling you ready to go vision. Mm -hmm. That means it's ready. Yeah, it can ready. go. Mm -hmm. So here you have the map. You have mm. the map, uh, just uh, like a normal Google map. You're, you're so going that is of here. This the map of around here. Okay. Yeah, okay. around here. Okay. So the first thing you put your drone mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. like Phantom Four, mm -hmm. it has capabilities like a. In such a way, it can scan around. Mm -hmm. It can scan around uh, f uh, from GPS and it will tell you this is this place, mm. this area. Mm. So it knows exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. So that is the map. Mm. <laughs> Video recording, you yeah. press here, it will start recording. Oh. You stop, it will stop. Mm -hmm. You want uh, to take pictures, mm -hmm. you just press there, it will go to uh, picture, uh, yeah. format, mm -hmm. and then nice. you take a picture. Mm -hmm like that mm -hmm. so you want without, to go back uh, mm -hmm. without without um interfering with your video no no, no. Mm -hmm. you have to stop the video first oh. then go to, v to picture or stop the picture thing mm -hmm. go then back go to, go video. to video so just changing the 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 formats mm -hmm. is just like that mm -hmm. you press there if you want to preview something that you've shot mm -hmm. there's this play icon here you just mm -hmm. press there mm -hmm. then this is the picture we just took right now mm -hmm. Then you can just uh, go and uh, see what you've shot, yeah. the, the, that small uh, video. Mm. So let's go back. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, go back. Okay, we are here back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so anything else we need to do? There are these icons here. Yes. You see this, there's this, mm. there's this, and there's this. Mm. This tells you that you want to fly automatically. Mm -hmm. We cannot fly here automatically because we'll cause a lot of accidents here. Yes. Because automatic, when I press here, mm -hmm. it will tell me to slide, mm -hmm. then it will fly itself. And slide it will, it will hover. Uh. It will go up to some distance, some feet, then it will hover there. Mm -hmm. So now we don't know how far it will go. Mm. So when I, I slide, yeah. it will uh, turn on itself, mm -hmm. the propellers will start mm -hmm. rotating, mm -hmm. then it will, go, it will go up itself. Mm -hmm. But we don't want that. Mm -hmm. So let's just... Uh, can solve that. Okay. We don't want that. Mm. Uh, for professionals, mm -hmm. we do manual. Mm -hmm. We don't drive automatically. Mm -hmm. We do manual. Mm. For manual, mm -hmm. uh, just give it uh, some space. Okay. It is very dangerous. I will. Like uh, that. Mm -hmm. For manual, mm -hmm. we have these uh, two sticks here. Yes. For manual takeoff, you need to arm the aircraft fast before taking off. For okay. automatic, it will arm and take off. Mm -hmm. So these two sticks, mm -hmm. you need to bring them right here, right here, this mm -hmm. corner. Yeah. So both of them at once, like that. And then yeah. leave it. Now our drone is That on. is fast. <laughs> yeah. OK. So yeah. just like that, then leave it. All Let right. it arm some mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Then for me, as a professional, I prefer so much mm -hmm. uh, like uh, accelerating fast because, yes. you know, these are just electronics. You can put these uh, propellers and maybe they are not tight. Yes. So for me, I like accelerating like that. Ah, so that you're able yeah. to test. So if mm -hmm. you accelerate and the propellers are not well uh, uh, there in, in there, mm -hmm. uh, they will go up like uh, ah. it will come out yeah. or something. Yeah. So I just do like that. Mm -hmm. So we are ready to fly. Uh, and yes, uh, this is an uh, indoor. Yes, so it's dangerous. When so you have it's to do it with dangerous. Yes. Very damn dangerous. Okay. I'm so to look at our for me, <laughs> since yeah. I know how to um, yes. fly, yes. Yes. first of all, I'll uh, do the obstacle avoidance. Mm -hmm. So 
this mm -hmm. you go up you want to launch the the yeah. aircraft yeah. this one when you go up like this okay let's do it then going down just come down like that slowly That's Same. manual. That is manual. And now when you do manual, you have to be a little more, be a little bit more careful because now you yes. don't want to like drop it and then it goes and... Yes. You see, uh, when you're flying, yeah. you don't need to panic at all. Because yeah. when you panic, mm -hmm. accidentally you hit something, yeah. now you will hit more things. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that. Mm -hmm. So this one, you just uh, launch with this, mm -hmm. go up mm -hmm. and... Uh, uh, down, mm -hmm. same, mm -hmm. going up, mm -hmm. going down, mm -hmm. this one going forward, okay. back, uh -huh. Side right, All right. Uh -huh. and left. Again, when we come to this, mm -hmm. we say this is up and down, yes. and landing actually, yes. down and landing. Mm -hmm. Then we, we want maybe this drone to rotate like this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is anti-clockwise. Mm. We'll just uh, go to there left oh, okay. the, the drone will rotate no, anti-clockwise yeah. then we want clockwise we'll just go to the opposite direction mm -hmm. uh, clockwise mm -hmm. then uh, anything else I've not talked about mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. this is automatic landing yes when the drone is up when you want to land it automatically mm -hmm. you will press here okay or let's say this drone has a capability of uh, maybe the drone is very far away you cannot see it yes you don't know where it is. Mm -hmm. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. What you do, you just press here or here. It would show the this is this is this is this is, this is home. Oh. This is a return home. Oh. You are telling the drone, I don't know where you are. Come so back. I want you to come back at home. Mm -hmm. So you just press this command, mm -hmm. and uh, wherever it is, it will come back. That's why it records the place first. Mm -hmm. okay. So that when okay. it gets lost somewhere, mm -hmm. you just press you know return back, it will come where it recorded. And let me ask, that will have to be within the 25 minutes of the battery life? Battery uh, actually, when uh, the drone is very far away, mm -hmm. uh, it will warn you at 30% battery. Okay. So it is recommended and highly recommended that when you reach 30% battery, mm -hmm. just come back home. Oh. Come back. That thirty will help you wherever oh. you are. Okay. You will come back home. That okay. thirty percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. That's that's really good. Uh -huh. So. Yes. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we have a few buttons yeah. down here. Yes. Yeah. So these, mm -hmm. these are our pause button. Maybe you're playing like we were playing our, our footage that we have shot. Okay. When you press this. So is pause. now you're controlling the camera, at this point. Yes, you're controlling. You're the controlling camera. the camera, and so. Let me ask you. Okay. Is it is it good to do it manually, like how you were flying it, or automatically? Because then again, if you're if you're controlling both the camera and and the drone in itself, what what? When you are starting to land the drone, mm -hmm. please do it automatically first. Oh, okay. Do it automatically first. Mm -hmm. But when you are a pro mm. in droning, just mm -hmm. do manual because mm. manual is good even in camera. Yes. Manual is good. Yes. Yeah. So, um, for manual, mm -hmm. the automatic and manual part mm -hmm. only comes when launching mm -hmm. and landing. Mm -hmm. Only launching and landing. Mm -hmm. The manual mm -hmm. part comes launching mm -hmm. and landing mm -hmm. and arming the drone. Okay. Like uh, when okay. I was doing like yeah. this, mm -hmm. I was arming the drone fast. Mm -hmm before flying okay. but the automatically mm -hmm. the automatic uh, way mm -hmm. it will arm the drone and then automatically oh, fly okay. so it okay. will fly up to some one or two feet mm -hmm. then it will hover there mm -hmm. it will hover there waiting yeah. for your commands yeah. waiting for you to control it with the sticks maybe going forward down or whatever down, okay. yeah so we have these buttons we have this button this is for taking photos Okay. This button, okay, nice. this for taking, for taking photos. Mm -hmm. Then this one is for brightness. You see what we were doing here, like tapping mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. when where there's darkness, it mm -hmm. will add some brightness. Yes. When there's uh, yes. brightness, it will add some. So, so you the have same a button thing, for that. Yeah, the same thing. Uh, 
-huh. When you just roll it, uh -huh. that is darkness, uh -huh. and when you roll it uh -huh. uh, clockwise, that is brightness. Uh -huh. Okay. This okay. that is this uh, button. Yeah. Then on the the left side mm -hmm. we have the record the button, record, yeah. just the same as, as this one. Ah, right. Yeah. Right. So you have it instead of leaving yeah, like this. Yeah. And then yeah. exactly. So you just have to mm -hmm. press like that. Then we have this. Mm -hmm. When when I I turn this, mm -hmm. I roll this. Mm -hmm. Look at the camera. So ah, okay. look at the camera. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. it is uh, it is a tilting. You're tilting. Yeah. That is just for tilting. Mm -hmm the camera mm -hmm. okay so we have these uh, modes here yeah. we have P mm -hmm. we have S and we have A mm -hmm. for P mm -hmm. that means that is in GPS mode mm -hmm. in GPS mode mm -hmm. that means when the drone is lost mm -hmm. you can get it back okay. but when you change from there and go to S mode that is sports mode mm -hmm. let's say you're doing a, a rally maybe cars mm -hmm. uh, racing something mm -hmm. like that you have to do sport because that will go very very fast okay. the drone will go okay. uh, according to the pace of mm. the of uh, whatever you are racing yeah that that is not a gps mode mm -hmm. and a mode is actually more of automatic mode okay. it's not good to use uh, to do automatic, automatic when you're doing professional mm. things mm -hmm. so you have to do it at p mode mm -hmm. it is reco highly recommended when you're shooting uh, normal things or mm. something mm -hmm. just do at p mode at that p is mode. the gps mode because uh, mm -hmm they will communicate really fast. Okay. Yeah. Another question. Okay. This, um, I'm seeing some red lines here. So this that's showing you the distance or yeah, the, the speed? Yeah, the distance. Or? This mm -hmm. is showing the distance in, in uh, feet the okay. drone is. Ah. These are red, uh, red uh, yellow, and uh, yeah. dark red thing. Yeah. It's show, just showing the, the feet so of the drone. how far can it go? How long can it go? Uh, like going forward, mm -hmm. it can go up to seven kilometers. Okay. Going forward, mm -hmm. going up in feet, it can go up to three thousand feet. Wow. That is going up. That's high. It's <laughs> very high. Yeah. You will not see it. Very high. Wow. And uh, at thirty percent, calm down. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then another thing. Um, let's say how how well is it in low light, like at night, like mm, at night. Mm -hmm. Uh. Just like any other camera, mm -hmm. at night you need lights. Yeah. Uh, you need uh, to add some light so the lens can see that light and mm -hmm. can uh, uh, pull that light into it to produce a good picture. Okay. So you just need light in any camera. Yes. There are low, cam low light cameras, but you just need light for any camera to have a good have picture. Have a good, okay. Yeah. All right. So I think uh, that's all about the Phantom 4 drone. Oh, that's, that's, and uh, that's actually putting good. it off, uh -huh. same thing. Press and, and hold. <laughs> we are done with that. Same thing mm -hmm. here. Press and hold. We are not done. Same Propellers. thing. Just push mm -hmm. and rotate anti-clockwise. Well, pull out. up. Okay. Because you might mess with this. Yes, you might mess careful. with this. You must be very, very careful. Wow. Same thing, push, mm -hmm. rotate. Wow, up. okay. Mm -hmm. Push, rotate, mm -hmm. clockwise, mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Push, rotate, anti-clockwise, mm -hmm. up. Don't forget, this will protect your camera. Yes. Always yes. put this. So just like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. and then... Press it there. You're done. And you have your camera. Pack protected. your drone. Mm -hmm. Go to work. Nice. Go home. <laughs> and we're done. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bob. You're welcome. <laughs> there you've heard it from the expert himself. Uh, wow. Such great lessons, I must say. Yeah. And so. uh, yeah, <coughs> we are happy to have him here. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. So yeah. Until next time. Bye. This is Tech Table. I'm Rachel. I am Babs. Yes. <laughs> Bye.